Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We pay until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. I feel like I live in a paradise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hi. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Hey! Stop! Man, running for me is a bad idea.
Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that if we keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Uh, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel office at the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing. What are you signing? A plot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after a video on Famous Shane? We found this brick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crocker Hoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own star. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car, that's him! Fuck, he's on to you! Let's go! Yeah, Dad! You should have told me! He's out of the car! I get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need oh help! God. I'm the- He's running! Oh my God, you killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! I can't believe it! I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Grow up, baby. It's time you got serious. So you're gonna drive into me? Get serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like, I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Thanks, Daddy! Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. 
Michael, they're fucking us. The suits. And they don't even wear suits. Wolves in turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Okay, okay, the airport. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strong. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
Ripley! He's a psychopath! Out of my way! Oh, stop! Look out! That's the most you got on me! She's the one behind this! Once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. It'll be on your desk first thing tomorrow morning.